I would have... Why do you have Mike Tyson fight something a little bit... Why do you have Mike Tyson fight something different? Like a rhinoceros or a hippopotamus? Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Oh wait, clap sinks. That's enough clap sinks. We got a new <laughs> microphone here. Audio interface. Japanese Imperial Army flag. Green screen. Oh, look at that. 21. Ooh, put things on. Memes. Whoa! Train falling down in New York. The possibilities are endless. Literally, they are endless. Please, God, make it stop. No, no, just sorry I've been away for so long. I was just getting some fresh threads like my GameCube bowling shirt, you know? Don't be mad when a guy's got a style on you for a second. So today, I thought I'd better come back with a banger of a video. You know, it's been like two weeks. That's it. Unacceptable, actually. So we gotta have a banger of a video. So today, we're going to talk about the time Mike Tyson wanted to fight a silverback gorilla. I'm sure everybody knows this story, but just in case you're a regular person who pays their taxes, I'm gonna give it to you straight. Back in 1986, heavyweight boxer Mike Tyson offered to pay a zoo $10,000 to fist fight a silverback gorilla. I mean, I just think a giant gorilla would rip a human's arms off like Chewbacca style. I don't even think that would be a, that wouldn't be a fight, it would be like a slaughter. Just, just personally speaking. I mean, they're so fast. I get it. Mike Tyson's fast. Like, he can dodge a punch like a, like Aegis Smith from the Matrix. It's a goddamn gorilla. I, I, I don't know about that. Now, everybody scoffs at this. They say, oh, Mike Tyson would have gotten his shit rocked. And I don't know why. I mean, maybe that's because I've done no research into gorillas or Mike Tyson at this point. But I feel like people are just kind of writing him off. Like, I, I don't think that all gorillas are stronger than all men. And I think this is something that's really worth looking into. Comparing the animal to the boxer and saying who would win in this clash between new and old. We don't know what would happen. No man in history has ever fought a gorilla. That's insane to me. It's the ultimate challenge. Who knows? Maybe fighting a gorilla is the one thing that can make humans go Super Saiyan. But we we can't do it. Now Mike Tyson was a genius in his prime. He could dodge fast as shit. His punches were really hard. He could kill a normal man. And I'm not saying that because I think, oh, well, it's going to be... Well, I, I think it's going to be easy for him. I, I'm not saying that at all. I think he'd have to work pretty hard for this, but who knows? Now, I couldn't find any indication on the exact gorilla Iron Mike wanted to fight, but I do know that it was a alpha male gorilla, because that's what a silverback gorilla is. Which doesn't exactly bode well, because they are thought of as maybe the strongest creature on Earth. But I think the important thing that could give Mike Tyson the edge here is that this was a gorilla who lived in a zoo. This was a bitch-made gorilla who never had to fight a day in his real life. Now sure, a gorilla out in the wild that's fucking punching lions in the face and ripping trees out of the ground, maybe that one he'd have a problem with. But this gorilla sitting here in a zoo who's just got nothing to do all day but get fed bananas and, and punch the, the female chimps because that's kind of that's what they do. I don't know, man. I'm just saying. I've done no research. Uh, but I saw gorillas fighting in the zoo when I was six, and it was scary, and I was eating ice cream, and I was pissing and shitting my pants, and then I also shit and pissing my brother's pants. That's a really good point. I mean, personally, I also shit and piss my brother's pants. But the thing you gotta understand is that gorillas play fight with each other, and that's probably what you saw at the zoo and what all these other people at the zoo saw too. These gorillas, they don't actually have to fight for anything. They're doing it for fun. In fact, even in the wild, gorillas very rarely go all out. Uh, but that's just a hypothetical, and also our time on this earth is limited, and you're gonna die one day. Mike Tyson, just purely as a fighter, is among the best who ever lived. He had a punch strength of 1,178 pounds of force, which is equal to 16 joules of energy. 
Mains could probably punch a cell phone and charge it, assuming it didn't shatter. Boxers who I can't be bothered to source have described being punched by Tyson as unlike anything they've ever felt before, and I'd bet that's on account of him punching them really hard, and most boxers only ever punch pretty hard. Mike's been known to get a little bitey in the octagon, another he's got a reputation for is having a short reach of 71 inches. Again, I don't know what that means, 71 inches seems long to me, but I guess all boxers are wacky waving inflatable tube men. Now this video here shows Tyson can- I wrote Tython. Why did I write Tython? Was that a joke? Now this video here shows that Tython can dodge at a really high level. These are some quick jabs he's ducking and weaving through, which is honestly very impressive. Also impressive and important is how in 1986, the year this fight would have happened, Tyson had won the heavyweight title at only 20 years old. Still to this day, the youngest heavyweight winner of all time. This was his peak. Just looking at this thing should fill any rational person with dread. The power it walks with, nearly 500 pounds of muscle. The fact that Mike Tyson thought he could do this proves how he is not a rational man. These animals, while naturally peaceful, they're six times stronger than an average human. Now Mike Tyson is probably like twice as strong as an average human, so if we math this one out, let's just say the gorilla is three times stronger than him, maybe. A human has to train in order to fight well, but gorillas have a natural battle tendency. So my prediction about the zoo weakening him was horseshit. Whoops. Not only is it instinctual, but it's also unpredictable and they hold nothing back. Just like Tyson, biting is a part of their routine, and they bite with 1300 psi, higher than a shark or a lion, and can run at 25 miles per hour. They have an 8 foot arm span and they can rip banana trees out of the ground easily. The only weak point is their eyes. So with all this information in mind, I believe I can confidently say- The funny ending is to say that Mike Tyson would win, but I just don't know how. What the fuck was I thinking? Why did I at any point believe Mike Tyson had a chance to win this fight? Even if homeboy could land a few punches, it would only take one, one, from old Silverback to kill him. Dead. Fucking useless. But I mean, okay. We did still compile all the data. I think it would still be worth it to go through a hypothetical of what I think would happen if the zookeepers were irresponsible enough to actually let him fight. So it's 1986, Mike Tyson has just paid the zoo $10,000, but in our timeline, they've accepted the money. They're going to let him do it, folks. So the time comes. They're gonna let him bare knuckle box a silverback gorilla. Immediately, the gorilla is probably going to try and do a test of strength, and you'll make himself look big and intimidate Mike Tyson because they're they're territorial animals. They don't usually fight. They just kind of want to scare you off, do a dis display of strength. And then usually that would just make anybody leave, any animals anyway. Now I feel like the intimidation tactic should work, but obviously in this timeline, it's not going to work. Mike Tyson will not be afraid, so the gorilla is going to go into a mock charge. Tyson's not going to know this, because I'm going to say he didn't read the little plaque in front of the zoo. He's going to treat it as a real attack and try to be ready to dodge. Now it's important at this point to remind us that gorillas have a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Uh, for reference, the fastest human on earth, Usain Bolt, has only ever run 27 miles per hour, and that was under extreme circumstances. The Olympics. Not saying he wouldn't, you know, hold his ground, but I, I, we gotta point out that he would not be able to escape regardless. Uh, so let's just say he dodges as a few <laughs> at 11,000 pounds of force straight into the gorilla. It still wouldn't really do anything. The gorilla's got a very wide arm span so it could just do like a swingy arms move and that'd be pretty awesome. So let's just say he dodges the swinging arms move too. Gets a few more power punches in. The gorilla is likely pissed at this point. Ooh, I just did a full power pee into the mic. And remember, and remember, Tyson has to go in really close for hits because he's got that those short little baby arms. The gorilla is going to use his jungle bite move next, which, if you remember, has a force of three, thir thirteen thousand psi. So really, this gorilla could end it like its name was one bite from Ned's Declassified. I mean, I could keep going with this saying Mike miraculously dodges this one and dodges this one. 
But really, the the only way he could maybe do this is if he delivers hundreds of full power punches directly into the gorilla's eyes, doesn't get hit even a single time, and I feel like even if he did do this, the general public wouldn't even appreciate what a monumentous fucking achievement he's just done, what a one-man only... P people would just look at this like, like, wow, he killed a fucking peaceful gorilla. Which, I mean, yeah, he did. But it's still kind of impressive, because these are things are so strong. But no, nobody would really care, so it's really just a lose-lose situation. He loses $10,000, could lose his life. Is it wrong that I still kind of wish he had done it anyway, just because of how funny the story would have been? Like, even if he died, I still think that'd be pretty funny. So, despite all the shit I was talking at the top of the show, I guess maybe people were right to write him off. It's just a fact, no human is ever going to win. Gorillas are just too overpowered. But, just for fun, could Son Goku from Dragon Ball defeat a silverback gorilla? Oh, well it looks like somebody on Reddit already beat me to this. I mean, of course episode 1 Goku could beat a gorilla. He gets shot with a gun and survives, so I bomb lets him smack that puss.